Hi, guys. Welcome to another Deciding Factor Extra. I'm John. And I'm Alton. And I'm Barb. And Barb is not a hologram. She's here. Live and in person. Oh, yeah. Up top. She has Cheers. made the long trip. Oh. <laughs> Except it might get it on us. Yeah, room. don't do that. <laughs> she made the long trip down from or up from Seattle down to Austin to come visit us. And we had a little uh, fun trip last night, huh? Yeah. I've had a great time. It's been an awesome trip. She apparently doesn't know how to do a hook em horn sign. So we fixed that the, pretty quick. Put in the thumb. That's what I've learned. <laughs> put in the thumb. Rock, it's not the, I love you. It's not, and it's not this because that's a totally different animal, right? Yeah. So uh, quick. She brought us a book her olive book. You should probably check it out. I'm not going to read it just because I don't like reading, but because he can't read. I can't read. It props up table legs. We, we may nicely. read it to him. Very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Alton's addicted to coffee. Those are not my cups. But besides that, Barb, since you're in town, what are we doing today? Today, because I'm in town, we are doing the odd couple extra. So I have to start it out by asking how long, John and Alton, how long have you been friends? Are we friends? friends? <laughs> okay. How Today long have you been is the time. In the same room? <laughs> uh, okay. Like maybe just, yeah. No. When did you meet? Like a yearish. I don't think it's been a year. Has Are you it? Serious. I feel like I started going. So we, we started the podcast when we became friends. We were like, hey, you want to be friends? Start yeah. a podcast. Oh, my goodness. I thought that I was walking into like a decades long. Okay. Now, I mean, yes, we've been friends ever since childhood. Well, this is how it goes. Like, so my wife makes fun of me because I know people for a really long time. And then she asks me all these questions. I have no idea. Like, is John married? I don't know. You've been in the same room with him for two years. I'm sorry. We don't think about that. <laughs> But uh, I think we met at church. I think I started going to church in November, and now it's February. So that's a little over a year at church. Yep. So is that right? Does We're that sound right? We're in January, but yeah, sure. We'll go with the year. <laughs> Come on. I was close. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay. Well, I'm going to so, pretend like you guys have been friends a lot longer than that. And uh, okay. we're going to... Uh, ask you questions and uh, I want you to answer who you think the answer is um, between the two of you. So it'll be goofy. If you haven't seen the first one, go back and check that one out first. Uh, you'll learn a lot about me and Alton and how we operate with each other off scene. And I guess sometimes on scene too. Anywho, or on camera. Wow. I, I'm losing it. You need more coffee, man. I was going to say it's because all this Definitely coffee comes more coffee. Barb came in town. I didn't get to go to sleep at all last night. It was fun. It was fun. Guys, stay tuned because this is the Deciding Factor Extra. Bringing you their thoughts on today's news and current events. Coming to you from Austin, Texas. This is the Deciding Factor Extra. Extra. With your hosts, Alton Hill and John Herzog. All right, guys, welcome back to the Deciding Factor Extra. Take us through it. Do we, do your thing now that you're in the hot seat. Well, first, we're going <laughs> to say the name of the thing. This My is name's Alton. The, <laughs> the odd couple. Steve, okay. Steve. Between the two of you, who wakes up earlier? Really? Oh, absolutely. I sleep till 10. I mean, I get up 8 o'clock, so I'm at work oh. by 8.30, Robert. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely an, an early birder than than you. Earlier bird. Yes. Worms and such. Yes. So then who goes to bed earlier? Well, that's actually Probably. like a, a secret New Year resolution that I have is to get up earlier, but I'm afraid to say that out loud because <clears throat> then I'll have accountability and then Yeah, you don't want that you know. with New Year's resolution. <laughs> like eleven o'clock, if it's eleven o'clock, I better my head better be on that pillow or Something's wrong. Oh, so you're going to stay up till 11? I stayed up till 11. That's why it's six o'clock and I'm still chugging <laughs> coffee. It was a special night. We were here after he bailed on our dinner date. And so we stay up a little later. <laughs> so I was evicted. Okay. Wasn't voluntary. <laughs> but uh, I would say I'd stay up later. 
because I don't have a problem staying up 11 every night, despite company or no company, mm. or maybe even 12. I like to get up early. I want to be an early riser, but yeah. I actually have to get up early so we can get the kids to school. So Define early, though. I have a feeling we're, we're defining terms differently. So we're back up o'clock. there in Washington. 7.30. We get up at 5 to start the day. Oh, the farmers, yeah. We farm, right? And uh, yeah, so my husband and I, like, we can fall asleep at like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. See, I would, like, my kids don't go to bed at 9. So in the summer, yeah. Like, I want to get up before 7 every day. It doesn't always happen. This might be a follow-up question along with that. Who gets up early in the morning to make breakfast for someone else? Not it. Or which one of you would? I think that's. I'm thing. big on breakfast. So but for somebody ten. else, like at like ten, he's big on breakfast. You're okay. gonna get up. That's special. called brunch, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've actually been regulated by the wife. She is not a morning person, and she does not eat before ten o'clock. Mm. So I have to cool my jets and wait for her to get hungry to eat breakfast. But no, I'll, I'll gladly cook breakfast early if need be. Heather's the cook. I don't cook anything. You're not cooking anything. But like, yeah. would you like, would you get up early? To- Heather has this dream that it's romantic to eat and like have breakfast in bed. And I'm just like, well, you need another bed. Cause I don't want you eating in my bed. Oh, I know I- you got to retell this. Though. See, my husband, he gets up extra early so that I get to read in bed while he goes and makes me a pop tart and a cup of coffee every morning. I, I do makes coffee. you a pop tart. He does. And he does wait, wait. them perfectly. So we come to bed and the way that we've justified this for one, you have to both be eating it because then you can't be like, you got crumbs in my bed. No, we got crumbs in the bed. That's yeah, what man. I'm kind of like a Nazi on that though. It's like exfoliation. You could totally skip the shower later. You're just exfoliated by pop tart crumbs. <laughs> You know what? This isn't my show. We're going on to the next one. Sorry. Derail. Hey, I make coffee. Does that count as breakfast if I put coconut oil in there? I think yes. Then I totally make breakfast every single day. Okay. Elton wins that one. All right. Um, who sings along to the radio on car trips? Me. Definitely me. Me, 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 me. I've never heard you sing, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't sing to anybody, just myself. <laughs> I really want to hear that on this. On this. I'm pretty oh, sure John has heard me sing more than I've heard him sing. Okay. You can't hear my tone deaf voice at church. <laughs> I'm just saying, I still think I'm spitting out more notes than you. <laughs> I, I, we, I, have we ridden anywhere in a car together? No, you don't like my smell. <laughs> that explains it. Hey, we're getting to that question later on. Don't oh. jump ahead. Okay. <laughs> Who sings the right words of the two of you? I'm really a rapper, so I'm going to say it's me. Look at how redneck he looks over there in that camo. <laughs> Hey, I normally can't wear this because of the green screen, so. No, I grew up, like, spitting rhymes, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to win that one. Okay. This <laughs> goes back to, to John in the car. Uh, who wears better smelling cologne? Ooh, he doesn't wear anything, so it's definitely me. me. <laughs> Jump back. Smell me now. Can you smell me? Not really. Damn it. Oh, Alton kind of smells better right now. <gasps> Dude, I got expensive cologne. Hey, I got to run to the airport like real really quick expensive and cologne. bring somebody with me. What? Ah. I, I have cheap stuff. I used to get the really expensive stuff and then I found something that smells just like it. And I didn't buy it because it was expensive. I bought it because I liked how it smelled. So what is it? And at the time I had a, like a big bonus check, but it was a big bottle. So it lasted several years, but just for Christmas, I got a new one. It's a, it's like some fancy brand, like a, like a Gucci or Armani might be Armani. Armani Gio. That's what I've got. I don't know, but it smells really good. It's like a sport cologne and uh, I like it. So I wear it. Well done. Now you know why he won't ride in the car with you. Should get a better cologne. Okay. Who's more likely to remember an anniversary? Ooh, an anniversary? Mm-hmm. Doesn't have to be yours because apparently you guys haven't been together that long. But yeah, I don't remember our anniversary. Apparently you do. I feel like I would do that because I've had the same anniversary since like 96. So I kind of got that tuned up. <laughs> It was high school prom. Look, John and I, it was like love at first 
conversation because he was like, Hey dude. Hey dude, like, I see you, you like, carry a gun. You like guns and <laughs> jujitsu? And I'm like, Yeah. And he's like, We're gonna be friends. Let's do a podcast. And I'm like, Cha ching. Okay. Hey, you want to double team the people that try to break into our church? Yes. <laughs> see? <laughs> you go low, I'll go high. Simple. I'm feeling inspired about another extra, but uh, we'll get there. Okay. Uh, who gives the best <laughs> gifts? John. <laughs> it, it would require him to give a gift in order for that to be a competition. It's John for sure. Okay. John's the man there. Okay. Sure. Okay. An argument. All right. Um, who always <laughs> I'm not a gifter. Not a gifter. Okay. <laughs> he does like to take pictures of his family and give them to you, yeah. though. I let John in my house way more than... He lets me in his house, so no, you're not coming over. Letting someone in my house is a gift. Man. The gift of you. All right, that's good. yeah, that's kind of like a <laughs> backhanded gift. <laughs> it's more like punishment. <laughs> Who gives that more punishment? Okay, okay, right? right? Like you can't. You were over here for five minutes, Barbara, and you were already muddy and attacked by children. See, well, attacked by the those dog are the gifts that I give. Played with by children. <laughs> the mud came from the oh, dog. Oh, new shirt. Here you go. Yeah. It was a gift. Okay. Um, all right. Who always leaves their socks on the floor? Not while you're wearing them, like after you take them off. I don't think I do that. I'm kind of like neat about that. Yeah. Unless they're, unless I wore them for like two seconds and I was going to wear them the next day, they'd go on the floor. But otherwise, they're straight into the laundry. Well, okay. I do have to admit, if y'all have watched Dude Dad, has anybody seen Dude Dad? Really? We got to get you on better shows. Oh, you, you and Barbo. Dude Dad, plugging Dude Dad. He's partially my spirit animal, but him and his wife have some good <laughs> skits. One of them is... Um, I'm sorry. Got too cool. many to choose from. So, so there's this idea of the sweet spot. And so it's like, if it's really dirty, it goes in the dirty clothes. If it was clean, it would be in the drawer. But then there's a sweet spot, which could be like a chair or next to the dirty clothes. It's like, you know, if I need to get up in the morning and wear some shorts, I'd wear those. But if you're going to do the laundry, then go ahead and take them. It's in the sweet spot. I may be guilty of putting things in the sweet spot. That makes total sense to me though. Like it as does, the, especially yeah, when you articulate it. Yeah. yeah. I, I think everybody a, does. A stool. That's like that's mm. its purpose. It's where you set the pajamas that you're not done with. Yeah, I lost a pair of pants to the sweet spot for a long time. They're hanging up in my closet and I've been just like <laughs> a month and I'm wondering where they are. And then oh, that's why they're in them washed <laughs> in a month. <laughs> okay. You got another one? Yes, I do. Um Actually, I think I have time for two more. So, last two. Who is more likely to come home with a stray animal? Uh, think living, like a living stray animal. No. That's me. Yeah. Guilty. Literally, two of them in his house. Guilty. The cats. Right? The cats. Okay. Yeah, two cats are straight. No, all three cats are straight. I'd never go and get a cat. Yeah. Yep. All right, last one. <laughs> Do you have any animals? I have yeah. lots of animals. I have two. You do? Yeah. Dog and a cat. Really? Yeah. See, I've never been to John's house. So hmm. you saw the front door. Yeah. I've At got dark time. a dog, <laughs> dark three time. cats, and fishes. Birds. Fishes though. or fishies? It's fishes. Because they're so delicious. No, because they're different kinds of fish. So they're fishes. If it's like all bass, then it's fish. <laughs> but if it's like a bass and a catfish, then it's fishes. You know, you could be jerking my chain right now, and I wouldn't know. Like, this could be totally serious. Do you ever know if I'm serious? I don't know if sometimes, anyone does. Yes, I, I don't know if I am. I, I sometimes do. That one I can. But that's legit. Look it up. I'm going to. You better believe it. Okay, last question. Fishes. Wait, Fishes. second last question or last question? Last question. Okay. Did I win? I, I feel do. like I have a commanding lead. I, <laughs> okay, Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no recounts here. Uh, which one of you would sit and get a pedicure just to spend time with his daughter? Me, me, yeah. me, 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 me. Follow up Absolutely. question. Have you done that? <laughs> I would bet. He, you know, he this has. is that we would bet he has. asked too many questions. I'm going to avoid totally that has. question. He probably asks her if she wants to get a pedicure. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, let's go on a daddy daughter date. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh man. So it's been another really enlightening episode of the odd couple. Yeah. Maybe you'll learn something new next time. Why don't you answer one, Barbara? I feel like you're in Good. Texas. You should 
say something. What's the question then? Well, <clears throat> I would absolutely go get a pedicure. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Who's more likely to spell a word wrong between you and Alton? Oh, totally me. Yeah, that's not even. A- I can't spell crap. She didn't do anything to do with her book. Remember, she had editors. She did spelled you know? Alton and family much love. All right. Uh, did, <laughs> did you know that, that with my book, I did have an editor and he was great. And there were a whopping five corrections. Although I'm not sure you spelling. spelled coercion properly here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong, but I was. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it, but this just. <laughs> C-O-E-R. <laughs> is it C-S-I-O-N? I think it should be S-H-I-O-N. Shun. And what I can't type on your computer. Never mind. All right. I think I spell better. There you go. <laughs> do you that, make breakfast? I do. I am the breakfast maker. See, What's the best of, breakfast? It, the best? Are we talking like weekend breakfast? Or I'm like, saying you and I are going to go like John and I competed in salmon. You and I are going to compete in breakfast. What are you making? They, they waste Pop their salmon eggs. in bed do not count. No, that's not breakfast. That's That's coffee time. That's like... That's Ooh, when you, you coffee read, time. You read Charles Spurgeon and, and you eat Pop Tarts and it's a great time. I'm telling you. It's, it's like you eat Pop Tarts with Sturgeon. Spur no, you read Spurgeon. Spurgeon Charles Spurgeon. Oh. You read Charles Spurgeon. You eat the Pop Tarts in the coffee. It's a beautiful moment in the morning. And that way you've started out your day with your spouse. And uh, you get all the time. Yeah. And then I make breakfast. What would I make if I was trying to completely blow your mind breakfast wise? Um, Swedish pancakes. I was going to say probably, oh, pecan sticky rolls. I would make you pecan sticky buns and bacon. Sticky buns and bacon? Yep. All right. All right, guys. You plots. This definitely got out of control really quick. But... That's thanks, the usual amount of time. Thanks for being here in person for once. Appreciate yeah, it. That was the idea for the extras is out of control. Yeah. It was I, did I not get the memo? <laughs> <laughs> it was spelled wrong. What are you going to do? All right, guys. We'll see you on the next Deciding Factor Extra. And also check out our regular podcast, The Deciding Factor. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And stay tuned for what comes next. Everyone, say bye. Bye. Bye-bye. This has been another episode of the Deciding Factor Extra, giving you food for thought on real-life issues. Be sure to click, like, and subscribe to this podcast, as well as all your big social media outlets, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Don't forget to check out our website, thedecidingfactorpodcast.com, and give us comments and feedback. Until next time, stay safe and keep an open mind. 